This is AFE's Power Play, where we power up your ride. I'm Mike Duval, and today we're going to add some much needed ponies and torque to this 2004 Jeep Wrangler TJ's 4 liter 6 cylinder engine. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, those ponies and torque are going to come in the form of AFE's Mach Force stainless steel catback exhaust, their Silver Bullet throttle body spacer, and their Stage 2 SI intake system. So hang on to your hats, let's go get these parts installed. How we do, Adrian? Mike, uh, we got on horsepower, we got 133, and uh, torque, we got 175. Super, all right, well, I'm gonna go install the goods and we'll see what we come up with after. Yeah, let's get this thing back on. All right, man. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. We got all our parts ready to go here, and we've got Jason Bruce, marketing director, to tell us about them. Thanks. Hey. The, um, today we're going to be putting on the AFE power package for the Jeep Wrangler TJ. To start that, we're going to use the Stage 2 intake. Stage 2 intake features a one-piece powder-coated housing to block out all the, all the engine heat. Uses the 360-degree high-flow Pro 5R air filter. Stage 2 intake tube. As you can see, it's a long transition tube. On a Jeep scenario, torque is the game, so the longer transition tube is going to create the air velocity for a very high torque. Silver Bullet throttle spacer is constructed out of T6061 billet aluminum, utilizes a helix combination to provide turbulence at the point of the engine, the intake manifold, which helps give you a complete burn, give you a little more horsepower, a little more torque, a little better throttle response. To finish off the system, we're going to use a stainless steel Mach Force XP exhaust system. This, this exhaust system is actually our high tuck model. So the exhaust tip is kind of built in. It's got a built-in turn down that allows it to hide underneath the body panel so you're not crushing it when you're doing uh, you know, high reticulation, up hills, down hills, that kind of deal. The Mach Force XP also uses OE style hangers with the bayonet. We use band clamps for the best possible clamping strength, straight through design muffler for maximum flow and a really aggressive sound. So this kit should produce some really big numbers, make the TJ sound real good. First thing we're going to do here is get the intake tube out of the way, and off it goes. There's nothing here, there's no sensors or anything, so basically, trash. Take out the air filter. Nasty. No maintenance. Out goes the box. More trash. The box is out, you remove an upper radiator bolt here that's going to attach the new air box. Next we're going to remove the front bolt on the strut rod between the radiator core support and the firewall. Then we slide the housing on. If he supplies you with two new mounting bolts for the base of the housing. Tighten our core support bolt. Tighten the two new housing bolts. We tighten our support rod back down at both ends. And before we do the tube, we're going to put a throttle body spacer on, so we're going to do that prior to putting the tube in place. All right, here we go, throttle body spacer. I'm going to pop the throttle cable off just so it's a little easier to move around. Okay, we're going to remove the factory gasket. The new throttle body has two gaskets, one between the throttle body and the throttle body spacer, one between the throttle body spacer and the manifold. Stack them all together and hold them in place with a couple of the bolts. You want to tighten the throttle body back down in a cross pattern. Don't overdo it. We're all set. I'm going to reconnect our throttle cable. And go back to finishing up the intake and the air tube install. Attach the intake tube to the air filter housing. Top of the throttle body. last item is the new vent tube. Remove the factory one completely. What do we do with this? You guessed it. 
That's it, intake's all set. Now we'll get her up in the air and get the exhaust. Small amount of lubricant on these rubber hangers prior to taking stuff apart is going to make this job a lot easier. Now the skid plate's out of the way. Now that we've got the front flange undone, to get this out in a stock configuration Jeep that doesn't have a lift kit or something on it that gives you more clearance between the axle here and the gas tank, we're going to slice the tailpipe here so it comes off in two pieces. It's going to be the easiest way. Success. Now we're just going to start building the new system from the front back. We're going to start by installing the new flange up front. Immediately after the flange, we've got our muffler. Now we have a small intermediate pipe to go between the tailpipe and the muffler. And lastly, our tailpipe. Well, we've got all our parts installed on this Jeep, and we're ready to go over to the dyno and check out our new numbers. You know, one of the nice things about this kit is how easy it was to install. We spent a little less than an hour's time with basic hand tools and got it thrown on there, no problem. So it's definitely a do-it-yourselfer friendly kit. So let's go over to the dyno, we'll see what happens. Hey Adrian, you got a smile on your face. Oh, of course. How are we doing? Uh, did really well. 145 horsepower and um, we got a 185 torque. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to drive and see how that feels on the street. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks buddy. Feel it. All cool. right. As you've seen, there's no doubt this is an easy way to get significant horsepower and torque out of your Jeep. Now I'm off for a seat of the pants driving impression. For more information on AFE products and the entire AFE line, go to afepower.com. I'll see you next time on AFE's Power Play. Hell of a difference. Yeah.